exercise. I know I should, but I don't particularly enjoy it. I begrudge the time and I never seem to make much progress. So I wanted to find out what I should be doing, how much and why. If, like me, you thought exercise was just about pounding the streets or hitting the gym for hours on end, then prepare to be amazed. Pass, 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 pass. I've been meeting scientists who are changing our view of exercise. Come on, Michael, you come on, you can do it. They've discovered that we all respond to exercise in very different ways. These guys here are super responders. Keep driving, keep driving. And I've looked at some extraordinary new research which suggests we can get many of the health benefits of exercise from just three minutes a week. Three, two, one, and that's you done. Perfect. Woo! There you go. Perfect. Woo! It goes against absolutely everything I was taught when I was in medical school <laughs> and everything I have read since. And research is also showing us how, without breaking a sweat, we can all live healthier and longer lives. That's a reduction of a third. Right. So you've got about a third less fat going around in your bloodstream. The truth about exercise has turned out to be a whole lot stranger than I'd imagined. Research coming out of the laboratories is challenging long-held beliefs. It has altered the way I live my life, and it may alter the way you live yours. One of the main reasons that people decide they're going to do exercise is because they think it's going to help them lose weight. Now, at a simple level, that makes complete sense. Burn the calories, the weight drops off. But is it really as simple as that? So this morning, what we're going to do is going to get you to do some exercise around the track. Yep. And we've got a portable respiratory device here. Okay. Yep. Like exercise physiologist Dr. Keith Tolfrey is about to demonstrate an uncomfortable truth about the relationship between exercise and weight loss. So you're, you're going to be measuring the amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide I exhale? Absolutely. It collects a small sample from here, yeah. and then it works out the concentrations of oxygen and carbon dioxide. Right. And if we look at the ratio between those two, we can then estimate how much fat and how much carbohydrate you're using. That's a great pace, Michael. By measuring what I breathe in and out, Keith can work out how many calories I burn while jogging along at six miles an hour. Good speed. 